Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of Hosea, chapter 7. As always stated prior to reading, get to a church that has Bible study or Sunday school where the word can be shared and broken down for easy understanding. Get with some friends and just break bread and get understanding from amongst one another. Also, get you a Bible that you can read. There are numerous versions, King James and NIV. But most importantly and above all the things I said, call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door, he will answer and fill you up with wisdom if that is what you truly seek. Amen. Hosea chapter 7 reads as follows. Whenever I would heal Israel, the sins of Ephraim are exposed and the crime of Samaria revealed. They practice deceit, thieves break in the houses, bandits rob in the streets. But they do not realize that I remember all their evil deeds, their sins engulf them. They are always before me. They delight the king with their wickedness, the princes with their lies. They are all adulterers, burning like an oven, whose fire the baker need not stir from the netting of the dough till it rises. On the day of the festival of our king, the princes become inflamed with wine, and he joins hands with the mockers. Their hearts are like an oven. They approach him with intrigue. Their passion smolders all night. In the morning it blazes like a flaming fire. All of them are hot, hot as an oven, that they devour their rulers. All their kings fall, and none of them calls on me. Ephraim mixes with the nations. Ephraim is a flat loaf, not turned over. Foreigners sap his strength, but he does not realize that his hair is sprinkled with gray. But he does not notice Israel's arrogance testifies against him. But despite all this, he does not return to the Lord his God or search for him. Ephraim is like a dove, easily deceived and senseless, not calling to Egypt, not turning to Assyria. When they go, I will throw my net over them. I will put them down like the birds in the sky. When I hear them flocking together, I will catch them. Woe to them because they have strayed from me. Destruction to them because they have rebelled against me. I long to redeem them, but they speak about me falsely. They do not cry out to me from their hearts, but well on their beds. They slash themselves, appealing to their gods for grain and new wine, but they turn away from me. I train them and strengthen them their arms, but they plot evil against me. They do not turn to the Most High. They are like a faulty bow. Their leaders will fall by the sword because of the insolent words. For this they will be ridiculed in the land of Egypt. Hosea chapter 8 Put the trumpet at your lips, an eagle is over the house of the Lord, because the people have broken my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel cries out to me, Our God, we acknowledge you, but Israel has rejected what is good. An enemy will pursue him. They set up kings without my consent. They choose princes without my approval. With their silver and gold, they make idols for themselves to their own destruction. Samaria, throw out your calf idol. My anger burns against them. But how long will they be incapable of purity? They are from Israel. This calf, a metal worker, has made it. It is not God. It will be broken in pieces, that calf of Samaria. The sow, the wind, and reap the whirlwind. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. The stalk has, not head, has no head. It will produce no flower. Were it to yield grain, foreigners would swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now she is among the nations like something no one wants. For they have gone up to Assyria like a wild donkey wandering alone. Ephraim has sold herself to lovers, although they sold themselves among the nations. I will now gather them together. They will begin to waste away under the oppression of the mighty king. Through a, though Ephraim built many altars for sin offerings, these have become altars for sinning. I wrote for them the many things of my law, but they regarded them as something foreign. Though they offer sacrifices as gifts to me, and though they eat the meat, the Lord is not pleased with them. Now he will remember their wickedness and punish their sins. They will return to Egypt. Israel has not forgotten their maker and built plat palaces. Judah has fortified many towns, but I will send fire on their cities. That will consume their fortress. Hosea chapter 9. Do not rejoice, Israel. Do not be jubilant like the other nations, for you have been unfaithful to your God. You love the wages of a prostitute at every threshing floor. 
threshing floors or wine presses will not feed the people. The new wine will fail them. They will not remain in the Lord's land. Ephraim will return to Egypt and eat unclean food in Assyria. They will not pour out wine offerings to the Lord, nor will their sacrifices please him. Such sacrifices will be to them like the bread of mourners, and all who eat them will be unclean. The food will be for themselves and will not come into the temple of the Lord. What will you do on the day of your appointed festivals, on the fe fe feast days of the Lord? Even if they escape from destruction, Egypt will gather them, and Memphis will bury them. Their treasure of silver will be taken over by briars, and thorns will overrun their tents. The days of punishment are coming. The days of reckoning are at hand. Let Israel know this, because your sins are so many, and your hostility so great. The prophet is considered a fool, the inspired person a maniac. The prophet, along with my God, is the watchman over Ephraim, yet snares await him on all his paths, and hostility in the house of his God. They have sunk deep into corruption as the days of Gibeah. God will remember their wickedness and punish them for their sins. When I found Israel, it was like finding grapes in the desert. When I saw your ancestors, it was like seeing the early fruit of, on the fig tree. But when they came to Baal Peor, they consecrated themselves to that shameful idol and became as vile as the thing they loved. Ephraim's glory will fly away like a bird, no birth, no pregnancy, no conception. Even if they rear children, I will bereave them of every one. Woe to them when I turn away from them. I have seen Ephraim like Tyr, planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim will bring out their children to the slayer. Give them, Lord, what will you give them? Give them wombs and miscarry and beat and breasts that are dry. Because of their wickedness in Gilgal, I hated them there. Because of their sinful deeds, I will drive them out of my house. I will no longer love them. All their leaders are rebellious. Ephraim is blighted. Their root is withered. They yield no fruit. Even if they bear children, I will slay their cherished offspring. My God will reject them because they have not obeyed him. They will be wanderers among the nations. Amen.